Hello everyone, welcome back to my show. So today we will be making cake in air fryer. So this is uh, the air fryer which I have. And uh, it's a uh, AeroCrisp air fryer. So I done the review of this in my previous video. So today we will be making a cake in this. So here are the ingredients which you will need. You will uh, need uh, all purpose flour that's maida. Uh, so we use uh, about 200 grams of maida. You can use uh, more or less according to your size of oven. So then uh, here we have powdered sugar. So uh, this is powdered sugar 180 grams. Okay. Actually we use this 200 grams and this we used 180 grams. So the sugar is the most in this cake. So here we use 46 grams of cocoa powder. And here we have some baking powder about uh, 2 teaspoons and salt quarter teaspoon. This is optional if you want you can put but uh, it will give a slight of a salty taste to your cake but uh, mainly you won't notice it. So then here we have 250 ml of oil you can use any oil but I would suggest don't use mustard oil because you don't want your cake smelling of mustard. Uh, then here we have some milk just use about a quarter uh, like quarter cup milk three fourth no not quarter three fourth cup milk uh, if you want it is not necessary but it will just add a little bit enhancing taste so here we have uh, about uh, two teaspoons of vanilla essence and here we have four eggs so uh, you can use half half of all the ingredients if you have a smaller oven so now we are going to make this so when we are baking you have to always remember that you must mix the dry ingredients separately and the wet ingredients separately so first we will uh, whisk not whisk we will strain this all in a strainer type of thing so already this is strained we will strain the rest and uh, with that will get combined also a bit ok so now we have kept the dry ingredients aside and now we will whisk all of this so I'm using one hand blender which is many many years old antique from not from India from America I think okay so now let's use this so now you have to whisk this until it is foamy okay so oh even though this is so well, it is working perfectly fine. Okay, so whisk it until uh, it becomes a froth. Okay, so it will be like a foam. Like if you take bubble mixture and then uh, rub it a lot, just like that, this will become. I'll show you. So, uh, just before that happens, take this out and put the oil. Okay, so put all of the oil in, put the vanilla essence also. Okay, so I'm doing baking for the first time on my channel. So, and just whisk that in. And this milk we will add at the last which we have over here. And uh, now we'll add the sugar powdered sugar okay so just keep this down and add this in so if you don't add powdered sugar is fine but it will just take longer uh, to dissolve and then if you put sugar crystals then it will uh, take very long to dissolve and uh, if you don't dissolve it properly then uh, sugar crystals will come in your mouth while eating the cake and you don't want that ok so let it all go in and whisk it well ok so here we have been beating this for a long time now about 2 minutes and now it is time to add the dry ingredients so uh, 
while adding the dry ingredients please do not use the uh, the what's it called uh, the whisker which you have that is the machine uh, because then your cake won't be uh, that good so you just use a spatula and uh, whisk it around and at this point you can preheat your oven at uh, 155 degrees celsius for 5 minutes and if you don't have that setting of 155 you can keep it at uh, 160 so add all ok so just fold it in to the egg fold the flour in and it should have a good consistency that it is needed for cake so it takes time to fold in but by the time your oven will preheat ok so fold it in ok so now we have mixed it all together and final ingredient milk so add the milk in and make sure that it is completely dissolved ok so now uh, this is mixed up with the milk and now we will pour it in to the cake huh. so now we will put this cake in the oven ok so just open this and put the cake in ok so the cake is put in as you can see and close this uh, now you can uh, put it on the cake uh, setting so 155 degrees uh, 30 minutes okay and then let your oven start okay so now the cake is ready and now we will open this and see so you can see this grand cake so now you have to wait for half an hour for it to cool down and you should uh, check with a toothpick whether it is ready okay so we will do the toothpick check right now and we will see if anything sticks so just check okay so you can see that this toothpick has come out completely clean so this signifies that the cake is ready so now just wait for half an hour to let it cool down you can uh, put uh, sugar also powdered sugar on top to make it look good so now we'll plate it and we'll show you so now wait for half an hour for it to cool down so now we'll switch the oven off okay so now the time everyone's been waiting for is the cake cutting so you can see we have put some powdered sugar over here and uh, here you can see the cake looks very nice and now let's cut it Ooh. ok so let's see this cake now it is looking extremely good so here I have just taken a small piece for now and now let's taste this mm. this is good this is really good and chocolatey if you want you can put uh, uh, chocolate sauce also but you can eat it like that also if you want but it will taste a little bit more moist with chocolate sauce so this cake is really tasty you must try it and if you want to buy the air fryer uh, the link is down in the description and you can make this an OTG also or microwave convection also okay bye and I will see you in my next video bye